Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to have a look at how you create watermarks. So we're going to look at how to create a text watermark, a picture watermark, and how to use the default ones and how to create your own watermarks. So first of all, if we go to the design tab, there are some preset watermarks that you can select from this area, watermarks. So these are preset. You can just click on these and you get a watermark, in this case, confidential coming across the screen. If I go back into that one, do not copy, etc, etc. Now, what these watermarks are, are basically text in the header and footer. So if I double click into the header, go a bit further up. You can see that this is actually a box. And I can spin that round like so. And what it is, is word art. So you've basically got all your tools for word art. This is quite an old feature in Word, but this is what it is. It's word, word art, and you can move that around and change that style if you wish. So I'll just come out of the header and footer. Now, if I go back into design from the watermark, option you can also go down to custom watermark where you can for example insert a picture you have to select a picture and then it will load whatever picture you want that'll do okay to that and then it puts that picture of my wife and the top of the cheviots in the header and again if I want to get into that there it is and I can format the picture if I so wish I don't want to do that though. I'm just going to delete that and I'm going to delete this one there we go so I've deleted them both so if you go back into custom you've also got text you can type anything in there so at the moment it's on ASAP but you've got all these other ones and you can type your name. So I'll type Steve. And then you can change the color of Steve. And you can have it horizontal or diagonal. And then click OK. And then you've got that in there. And again, that's word art. So let's just undo that. So they're all watermarks. You've also got page color, which is not really a watermark, but you can ch change the page, not to that color. It's a bit loud change the color of the page if you wish from this option and what you can also do rather than using any of these watermark options is you can create your own and that's what I want to do now and to do it as you saw there in watermarks all of this is in the header and footer so first I need to get into the header and footer and there, there I can, now I can do a watermark so if I insert an image a picture I'll do a stock image and that'll do. That image needs to be wrapped because it's sitting in the header area. So I need to wrap text. So I'll just put it like that. Um, that one actually. So it comes down into this. And then what you need to do is to set the transparency a little bit on this because it's uh, quite intrusive. That's too much, that one will do. And now that will sit in the page and it, it's in the header and footer. So if I do under the page, so if I do control enter, it's on every page. That's the whole point of doing that, like so. So I'll just do undo on that, control Z, control Z again, until it goes, gone. Now to put text in there, I need to do a text box. So let's get into there. I'm not going to use word art. I'm just going to insert a text box and draw something myself. So these are preset text boxes, but I want to draw one and I'm going to draw it down this left margin area. Let's come down to the bottom to the footer. Like that. Let's make this a bit smaller so I can see Make that a little bit bigger. So it's coming down. And what I want to put in there in caps lock on is top secret top secret now obviously that's not correct how I've got it there at the minute 
So what I need to do is just change the font size to something much bigger than that. Top 72 is too big. 48 looks okay. So if I put a space after that, and then I maybe color this red. So it's red. And then what I need to do is get rid of this border. So shape format and shape outline, no outline. And then I want that on both sides. So I'm just going to pick that up, hold my control key down and copy that. Is it going to let me copy that? Yeah. There we go. Click off. So now that will that will be on every page, top secret. And if I do control enter to get a, a another page, you can see how that works like so. So that's going down both sides of the page, top secret, top secret. If you want people to read something, put top secret on it and everybody will read it. Now to do it in the middle, so let's say I want um, draft or something to come down the middle of a document, you just do the same thing, but obviously in the middle. So I'm going to insert text box again, drawing the text box in the middle, and then you change the font size to whatever size you think. So I'm going to go try 48 again, caps lock is still on, and then type draft, put it in the middle. Now I probably want to pick a different color to that. So let's go for a gray color. So it's not, doesn't stand out too much. And then you can just copy that down. If I just um, highlight that and copy it and then come down with it and it should just paste it down like so. And then I've got that. Still got this border I need to get rid of. So shape format, shape outline, no outline so that gets rid of that and then if you double click on the page side of this box there you go so if i type some text it should just go over the top of that right so so you may want to fade that out a little bit more come down a little bit and put some more auto text in there because it is intruding slightly, you can't actually see some of the text, so that needs to be a different, slightly different color. So if I just undo that, and get rid of this draft, I don't want this draft. So I'll just get rid of that. And what I want to do now is, having got myself a top secret page, I also want to get rid of this. Let's backspace this page off so I've just got one page. What you can do is save that as a template, so that's what I want to do. So control S, call it top secret. So I don't have to keep doing it basically. Save it as a word template. Goes into the template folders, save, close that down, control W, and then I should be able to go file new to get that. Oh, well, there it is, top secret. And then that's a copy of it. That's a document three. So I can mess that up and I can run that top secret one as much as I need to. So that's how you create a watermark. Now, if you want to create a watermark that is different on different pages, you would need to use section breaks. So let's just try that one. So if I come out of this, control W and get control N new file, then you go into layout and insert section break next page and then you do that again breaks next page so if i double click into the header everything is joined together so it's same as previous same as previous so if i do the top secret box there if i go insert text box draw like so so you can see it's the same on every page. Get rid of your line, go to shape format, outline, no line. So that's the same, and this is what you can do, and is what I am going to do on this one. I'm going to click into this page and break this link. So up to the header and footer option. Um, it's on link to previous, so I'll take that off. So now I can change this one. 
and this one still will be the same as well but that one will stay as it is these two will be the same so if I say um, just secret that this page is secret you can see that that one's saying the same and if I want to change this one back I need to click into the header and break the link the link to previous take that off and just put this one completely different call it restricted that's restricted and then I need to adjust this to push it down a bit so when you're using different words for different sections of a document you need to create section breaks but you can still do it so an example that I use this for would be a Microsoft Office training manual might have some pages that's about Word, some pages that's about Excel, some pages that's about Access and so on and so on. So you could create different sections with different headers. You might not have them down the side like this, you might just have them at the top. But you would still have to do the same thing. You'd have to create section breaks and you would have to break the link. Otherwise, this top secret will just cascade through all of the other ones. And again, you can save this as a template if you think this is something you're going to do over and over again. But that's all I want to talk about in this particular video. So that's how you create watermarks and how you can save a template with a watermark in it. So hopefully that was of use to you. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for your time.